Hey everyone, Brian from WorkshopAddict.com and we are going to go over the best battery operated wet dry vac to date. This is the Bosch GAS18V-3N wet dry vac and if you are in Europe, you've seen this model for about the past year as the GAS18V-10L. That's 10 liters, 3 gallons. But on the inside of this, uh, you have a 1.6 gallon capacity. And the reason why I say that this is absolutely the best battery operated wet dry vac out there is because it's powerful and quiet. If you have any of the other newer Bosch vacuums out there, you'll know what I'm talking about. When you turn it on, it can be sitting right next to you and it doesn't bother you. It's not loud and it's just quality and easy to use. I really like everything about this thing and say what you want to say about it. I really think that if anyone's looking at a vacuum, a battery operated vacuum, and you're not in the Bosch battery line, get in it. This, I found $119 online. It's cheap, it didn't come with a battery, so you're gonna have to get a battery. But either way, for a wet dry vac, that is priced below what I'm seeing for a lot of other vacuums out there that are not quiet. The rigid vacuum might be a little bit more powerful, but it's really, really loud. And it doesn't have the runtime that this one does at approximately four minutes per amp hour. And I say it because everybody says, you know, how long does it run? So six amp hour battery, if you just let this sit in the corner, it'll run for about 35 minutes. If you're actually using it and sucking up something, it will run for approximately 25 minutes. If you were sitting and continually doing water just on till it filled up and then off, it will run about 20 minutes on the six amp hour battery. So it's right in that range of four minutes per amp hour. Awesome system and it does have a battery gauge on the outside. So when you put your battery in, you hit the power button, it reads the battery quick and then gives you a gauge on the outside so you don't have to open the cover up and look on the inside. So as we said, it has a 1.6 gallon internal capacity, 51 CFM. It is IPX4 rated, so it can withstand a water splash from any direction. And you can see how they made the switch and they made different things in here to try to make it a little more water resistant. It definitely is not, you know, as far as the battery cover goes up, there's no rubber gasket around here. So you're not gonna be submerging this thing, but it's built to be a good wet dry vac. This vacuum creates a cyclone inside the circular tub. So all the heavy particles will fall to the bottom and the lighter ones will circle around the outside of this. Even if you have a ton of sawdust in here, it'll keep most of that away from the filter, circling around the outside, allowing you to keep good suction at all times. Now, when we put this in a water suction test, it's rated for a 36 inch lift, but we knew that we had about a 1.6 gallon capacity. So sucking out of a bucket, took about eight seconds to fill the vacuum, and then the ball inside stops the vacuum and the hose was still a little full of water. But I'll tell you, there was quite a bit of water for 1.6 gallons that got sucked up. I'd say you're closer to two and with the hose closer to two and a quarter. So a great system that's put together. And I think that's the second reason why I think it's one of the best ones on the market. You have a very, very nice six foot hose here that, I mean, it's kink resistant, but it's very flexible, very flexible. You have the same type of Bosch connections from the other vacuums. So if you wanna put crevice nozzle on it, uh, it goes on the end of this guy, obviously, but they're all stored on this side of the unit, pretty neatly tucked away. You hardly know they're there and your floor nozzle is right next to your hose reel. Very nice system. Again, just to put something on a vacuum, know that it's gonna stay there. If you're in your shop or going to the job site, you're not risking anything falling off. And it's just very well organized. When you open this up, there is a HEPA filter on the inside, a washable HEPA filter. So if you're getting into drywall, you're getting into concrete drilling or anything, hooking this up remotely, you're not putting dust back in the air. But since what's inside your tub is a circle, you can hook this top piece up at any point. It doesn't matter. It, it's quick, it's easy. And 
it goes back to a great design. Some people might think it should have wheels on it because like I was vacuuming the truck and I'm continually pulling it with me. But the reality is I had it outside the truck uh, just to do the front. If I'm working on the back, it goes right inside the truck and there is absolutely no noise issue. I can work right next to it. It's just awesome. It weighs in at 10.3 pounds and the air comes out the back and is somewhat diffused. So this is not going to be used as a blower. You cannot put the hose around back. It's going to be a vacuum only. But I like that the air is diffused back here because it doesn't just start blowing any dust that's behind it around. I can't say enough about this vacuum. Really can't. Everything about it, top to bottom, is top notch. It's simply Bosch quality. In, like I said before, if you're not in this line, this is a great excuse to hop out and get in it. Even if you buy it with one 6.0 amp hour battery, I mean, it gives you 24 minutes of runtime. Using it at a camper, using it at your house, using it job site, anywhere like that, I think you'll be more than impressed with every piece that's on it. So if you're in the market, check these out. As normal, man, give us a like in this video and subscribe to this channel. We appreciate all your support. Thanks for your time. Have a great day.